Hi guys, my name is Sarah and today I'm the special guest on the Mama So before I get started, I want to introduce myself. My name is Sarah and I am super super happy that I am the guest on the Mama Mixer. A little background on me on who I am. I am Sarah and I have two YouTube channels. One of them is a mommy channel and it is called Sarah's Mommy's Life 2. I do mommy topics, hauls, I do DIYs, I just do fun mommy things on that channel. And as well, I have a vlogging channel. I vlog with my husband and my two daughters. And that channel's name is called Sarah and George. So when you have a chance, um, check me out, um, subscribe, like my videos, comment if you guys came through the mama mixer and as well all my links will be placed down below to check so me out. um summer is here and we're super super excited but that means trip to the park trips to the beach just going out with our kids but let's get real guys our kids are going to get into things they're going to get cuts they're going to get bruises they're going to get bumps they're going to get nosebleeds so what does that mean that means we have to be nurses on standby so I created a very simple um, first aid summer kit and all the content that I have in this little makeup bag is all from my dollar store, even the bag. So um, if you guys want to see what I have in here, then keep on watching. So in here I have um, the biggest item which is a cold compressed ice pack. This one is instant, you just um, shake it. Um, squeeze it and just firmly shake all the items inside it will become cold because um, when it comes to bumps um, you can just apply it and then you know it'll be cold and it works just as good as an ice pack I also have some hand sanitizer I don't have to explain why we need this but um, I always use this when it comes to assessing a first aid kit because um, you never might not have you might not have water on hand, so you always need to clean your hands before you assess a wound. And the first aid kit just works as well as water. Um, speaking of cleaning hands, I also have some gloves in here. These are non-latex. I also picked up these from my dollar store. Um, these were good because you never want to use your hands to, you don't want to expose your hands to blood. So this comes on handy gauze and as well as surgical tape because your child might have a really really big cut and you want to sustain the blood so what I do is I would just apply wherever the cut is with um, the big gauze wrap it around with the surgical tape and what I like about this surgical tape is that you can tear it without having scissors so this works good because um, I don't carry scissors in my first aid kit because uh, my daughter might reach in it and having instant terrible surgical tape works wonderful. Um, as well, I have in here some cleansing pads, alcohol cleansing pads. Um, I never apply alcohol on a wound, but I always uh, um, clean the area where there's like, a lot of blood so I use this to clean around the area but never ever inside the room because um, you don't want your child screaming bloody murder um, because they have been exposed to alcohol in the cut and um, just a little FYI if your child ever 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 has like dirt inside the wound um, simply water or saline solution it's going to work uh, because alcohol is going to cause burning. Um, I remember um, when I was a kid, um, a nurse a nurse in school applied alcohol in my wound and I was screaming crazy. And when I went to nursing school, I even asked, you know, what do we apply inside a wound? And they said water or saline solution. But I, I even said, not alcohol. And they looked like me if I was crazy, but that's what I knew. It was alcohol and that's a no-no. So, no, no, no. Don't apply alcohol in a, in a cut or a wound. Um, I have triple antibiotics. This is really, really important because it helps with cuts, scrapes, burns. Um, my six-year-old is allergic to grass. So whenever she's really, really exposed to grass, I just put it on the area and it controls the, um, the itchiness. And triple antibiotic is used in many other areas, not just for minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. But... It can be an all-purpose um, ointment. 
And as well, I have in here some band-aids because you can never go wrong with band-aids. Um, I have them on all sizes. I have large ones, medium size, and tippy little small ones because my six-year-old might have the smallest cut in the world and she might think it's huge, but the cutest little band-aid might make a big difference. So they always come in handy, even for a fashion statement. And the last thing I have in here is this little band-aid, um, uh, such a bowl. Um, Band-Aid and this one I always have in hand because you never know when your child might get a sprained ankle or you know they might sprain their foot or sometimes let's pray not a broken arm and um, um, if you guys ever have taken first aid you can you always learn how to use this little item in multiple ways and you can use it as a sling support um, a wrap and it works even for head wraps and it works wonderful so this little item comes in handy, handy and it's just a all-purpose little little thing so it works good so everything is going to go in here in my little makeup bag really really fast because there's a lot of content in here but I mean it's not a lot of stuff and it just holds in here. So, I zip it up. Zip, zip, zip. And there you go. All the stuff that I just showed you is in here. Very affordable. One dollar, even the bag. So, yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Um, I'm so ready for summer. Not ready for those cuts and bumps and bruises, but I want to be ready for my six-year-old. So, um, if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Mama Mixer. Also, check me out on my channels, and hopefully I will see you guys in a video here on the Mama Mixer. Bye, guys.